Thank you for joining me for your evening weather updates from the Met Office. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. It is going to be a cold start to Tuesday across the south, but a big contrast to further north where temperatures will be generally a few degrees above freezing. In the south, yes, these are the temperatures in towns and cities, but rural spots could be as low as minus five or minus six. As well as the frost, there will be some fog patches forming. Largely clear skies through the evening will allow those temperatures to tumble and that fog to thicken up. Cloudier skies over northwest England and western Scotland, providing a little bit of light rain and drizzle here and there, but most places will stay dry. The clouds will persist across Scotland and Northern Ireland, help to keep the temperatures up here. But overall, I think it'll be a brighter day on Tuesday across northwest England and Northern Ireland. Further south, some dense patches of fog are possible across the southeast, in particular for the morning rush hour, but should be clearing away by mid morning. We're going to see the winds picking up across northern Scotland and then the rain comes in here later in the day across the Western Isles, the Highlands and the Northern Isles eventually. But really getting quite gusty across northern Scotland throughout Tuesday. Some brisk gusts of wind suddenly whipping up. A bit breezy over northern England, northern Ireland, but the winds in the south are still pretty light. And so once that fog's gone, the frost will melt fairly rapidly and temperatures will jump up into double digits across the board. One or two spots likely to get into the teens, even further north without the sunshine. Milder conditions here mean temperatures will also get up to 10, 11 Celsius. Obviously, it'll feel cooler with the gusty winds and the rain across the far northwest, which will trickle southwards towards the central belt for the evening time, tending to fizzle out as it spreads across Northern Ireland. But nevertheless, a little bit of light rain is possible here during Tuesday evening. The rain getting quite heavy and persistent across western Scotland, where it remains fairly breezy. A bit more cloud over England and Wales, but still lengthy clear spells in the far south. So that is where we'll have a frost again on Wednesday morning and some thicker fog. If anything, the fog likely to be more dense uh, on that Wednesday morning. And again, here temperatures down below freezing in towns and cities, rural spots even lower. But again, such a contrast between north and south with those temperatures to start Wednesday. Staying pretty wet in western Scotland and still pretty gusty here too. We'll continue to see largely fine conditions further south. Again, the, the fog will take a while to clear, but should be gone by mid to late morning and then plenty of sunshine once more for England and Wales. As we go through the day, temperatures climbing a little bit higher perhaps on Wednesday compared to Tuesday. More places likely to get up to 12 or 13 Celsius. Again, though, it will be frosty at first thing, don't forget. It could get warmer still as we go towards Thursday. These weather fronts still bringing some cloud and rain across the uh, northwest. The high pressure that's bringing the settled conditions across the south for the next few days, that continues to scoot away and around it the wind coming in mostly from the west or the southwest but a subtle shift as the high edges further away will allow the winds to waft up more from the south so that will bring slightly warmer air around the middle part of the week. So Thursday is likely to bring the peak of the temperatures where we could easily get to 14, 15 degrees. One or two places could be a little bit higher than that. For more details on that and uh, how things could change as we head towards the weekend, you can watch our full week ahead video with Aidan on our YouTube channel.